Welcome to the orientation videos that are associated with Unit 1 from Working with Health IT Systems. If you remember, in the orientation video number 1, we simply opened up, we found our patient, and we began to look at the cover sheet display, which is the normal default in the VA CPRS. I am still using patient 8. What we'll do here is go through the interface in a little bit more detail. And as you get in and start working in the lab with your own hands-on experience, it's okay to explore. That's the way you're going to learn this interface. You can't really mess anything up, so don't be worried. Go in there and poke around. That's the way you're going to find out how to maneuver within the system. But let me just give you some general pointers. If you look up here in the left-hand side, you will see that this is patient 8. If this was John Doe, of course, it would be Doe, comma, John. If you were to walk into this person's room, you would say, Hey, patient, how are you doing? Or, Good morning, Mr. 8. How are you today? You will see this is his social security number. This is all bogus data, so not to worry. You will also see that in many systems, the social security number is no longer displayed. And I know with the next version of Vista that's coming out, the VA will also be changing this number to protect privacy and confidentiality. But right now we have bogus made up numbers in there. You will also see Mr. 8's birth date, which was April 7, 1935, which makes him 75 years old. You will see that he doesn't have a visit selected. This will make sense later. But this is an important box to take note of. Provider is Dr. 1, and that's me. The primary care team is unassigned. There are some features over here we will discuss throughout the term, but one I particularly want to alert you to is this little red alarm clock. This is the reminder clock. And when you open up a patient record and you see a little red alarm clock up here, this is telling you that your patient is in need of something. It's sort of a visual reminder for a provider or anybody else that is opening up the patient's record that the patient needs something done, and it should be done now. I'll explain more about that as we go through. And there is a posting here, which means that he has an allergy. He has an allergy posting. He also has a crisis note. And he has an advanced directive. We'll talk about this as we go along. I want you to look at these windows. Now remember, in orientation video number one, we talked about all these different tabs here, and we're going to go into each and every one of those. But right now, I want to show you this, again, is the cover sheet default view. This is a tremendous benefit for clinicians in regards to an EHR. We have a paper record. There is no one place you can go to get a snapshot of your patient. That's what the cover sheet is. What it does is reveals the latest data that is available for your patient. So you won't want to look back five years in this particular view. It's going to show you the last set of vitals. It's going to show you the last couple of appointments. And it's going to show you the most recent lab results. But that does not mean that's everything in this patient's record. This is a cover sheet. It's a summary view. It's a snapshot in time. You will see active problems here. Allergies, adverse reactions, postings, clinical reminders, active medications, recent lab results, vitals and appointments, visits, and admissions. 